Welcome to my project ideas. This is an ongoing series on Google Firebase integration in SAP UI5. And in this particular video, we'll learn how to do media upload and download using SAP UI5 and Google Firebase storage. So Google Firebase provides the option of a storage where you can upload and download any MIME files. It means you can upload a PDF file, video, audio, or text file, whatever you want. So within the storage you can create multiple folders and within the folders you can upload and download the media files so the steps are very simple we'll create a folder and we'll enable the you know, rules where the upload and download is allowed by default it is disabled then we'll create a basic uploader and table binding in sap ui5 and then we'll perform upload and download operation so before we start with the code part so we have also written an article for you where you can find all the steps theoretical part and code so that you can refer and copy paste the code to perform the same so we have written a very simple piece of code where we have written a uh, upload collection and I created a link so upload collection will be used to upload the files and link will be used to you know download the files and the file type we are focusing as of now is either png jpg or jpeg and uh, on you know change of files will trigger a particular function so if i go to the controller file and in it we have initiated the router and then we have a few functions like on change upload on type mismatch on upload complete and all so on upload complete we are just you know clearing the files that's it and uh, on type mismatch we are checking if the file is not matched then we are showing an error and within on change upload we are getting the file like this and then we are creating an instance of firestore and then we are writing the name of the you know collection name that uh, we have created so if i go back to the firebase uh, let me open up console.firebase And if I go inside my project, and within the storage, as discussed earlier, we have to do a few steps, right? So we have a folder. I will just delete this folder, or if there is a file, I will delete the file. Yeah. Fine. So we have a folder. The folder name is media. And apart from that, if I go to rules, so by default, the rules will be like uh, read write if false. So ultimately, the read write is disabled. So you have to just allow read and write. So you have to change the code like this. And now. Uh, the file store reference collection name is provided. So whatever file will be there, we'll fetch the file name from there, and then we'll do the upload part. That is, stars is equal to storage dot ref dot put dot uh, and send in the file. So storage ref is our uh, command line that we have created here, and dot put command will add the file. And when we trigger task dot on state changed, that is, whenever we will upload a file. So it will give error and success and in case there is an error we will show the error like this and otherwise we will not do anything else and then to download the file we have created a custom code so this is the URL till here where you see the project name is there and all this we have extracted from an existing file I will show you how to extract that and then we have the collection name that we have defined earlier and uh, after that we have the file name and in the end it appends all it is equal to media by default this url ultimately will give me the url of the product file and if the url will exist then we'll bind the link in the view with this url fine so we'll try it out first 
so this is the place where uh, we'll do the upload part so i have a file here sigma logo i will just drag and drop and the file gets uploaded so if you go to files within the media the file is uploaded right the same is if i click here we will open up the file so the url construction is like this so when i open the file here i can see until here a uh, url is defined this is something that is generated for the project by default and it will remain constant for all the files thereafter we have the folder name that is media then uh, percentage to f is added and then the file name is added till here and then the alt is equal to media is added so the same way we have just copied and pasted and changed the hard coded ones with the ones that uh, we have created like the collection name we have our own right the file name may vary so like this we have constructed the entire url so in this way we were able to successfully upload and download a media file let us know in the comment section if you have any issue thank you